This is WYMT Mountain Sports, your home for the Kentucky Wildcats and local high school sports. Good morning to you, 36-0 and, and still playing. Kentucky is one of the 16 teams left in the NCAA tournament, but head coach John Calipari apparently does not fit the credentials of Coach of the Year according to the U.S. Basketball Writers Association. Virginia's Tony Bennett wins the Henry IBA Award yesterday. In his sixth season as the Cavaliers head coach, he went 30-4 and, and led the Cavs to a second straight ACC regular season title. His team, though, was eliminated from the NCAA tournament by, by Michigan State on Sunday. So Cal does not win that award, but he and his cats are after something a little bit bigger these days. It's called a national championship. Calipari now takes his team into the Sweet 16 and a matchup with West Virginia Thursday night. Right now, he would certainly like to see Devin Booker shooting the rock better from three-point range. Booker is 0 for 7 from behind the arc in the NCAA tournament, and he's hit just three of his last 16 three-point shots. I'm not on fire, but, you know, like I said, you know, it's going to come along, and I know it is. My team trusts me, and, you know, the whole coaching staff trusts me, and, you know, I've stressed it, you know, in almost every question, like, you know, I'm, that's the least of my worries right now. I'm worried about winning, and, and as long as we're winning, I'm all right. So Book isn't shooting well at the moment, but perhaps the good news for Kentucky is that the entire West Virginia team hasn't shot well all season long. The Mountaineers rank 282nd in the nation in field goal percentage, but they have forced a whole lot of turnovers, like 468 of them. And those turn into points, of course, and that's good enough for old Huggy Bear. You know, that's what we are. We're not, it's, it's you know, I, for, it seemed like everywhere we go, people say, well, it's not pretty. Well, I think it's beautiful. I mean, I, I, I love it. I love the fact that we can not make shots and, and, and still win, still find ways to score. Oh, you got to love it. Kentucky, West Virginia, the Bluegrass State versus the Mountain State in the Sweet 16 location, Cleveland, Ohio, at the Q. UK and Dub V will tip off at approximately 9.45 p.m. Eastern time inside Quicken Loans Arena. You can watch the game right here on WIMT. The Kentucky women upset and knocked out of the NCAA tournament Sunday when they lost to Dayton. And last night, Louisville trying to avoid an upset. The Cardinals are the home team as the three seed, but playing six seed South Florida on its home floor? Awkward. A little bit. Second half we go off the miss. USF on the run. Alicia Jenkins gives the Bulls the lead for the first time in the game. With under five minutes to go, the crowd's jacked up. The South Florida women trying to make their first ever Sweet 16 appearance in school history. That's not going to happen, though, because Louisville's Jude Schimmel, she played basketball really, really well last night. 13 points, six rebounds, five assists. Louisville advances to its third consecutive Sweet 16, sixth in school history. Now, this is the last week of UPI top play contenders. Here are the best plays from the boys' Sweet 16. First contender, Williamsburg, Corey Shelton. Oh, Corey Shelton. It's part of a 13-0 run to start the first round game against Doss. Second on me, Skyler Griffith. He's in trouble. Works out of trouble. And here's Corey Shelton. The pump fake and the bucket. Yellow Jackets would lose, though. Corey Shelton dropped 19. Third on Johnson Central taking on Ballard in round one. Kyle Gullett and the goggles. A little off-balance shot there. Next contender, same game. Heads-up play here by Gullet off the Braxton Blair air ball. He tips it over to a wide-open Patrick Rice. J.C. falls, though, to the Bruins of Ballard. Fifth contender, not Central's Callaway County, and it's uh, first possession of the game. Evan Hall be like, get that stuff out of my house, man. I've, I've, been, here, I've been here a while, you know. I've been here for, like, four straight years. Six nominee, cue up the camera justice montage. Mr. Basketball himself went out with a bang at the state tourney, including so many clutch shots. Uh, those are a couple in the first quarter. Here comes the second half flurry. He went on an 8-0 run all by himself at one point in this game. 39 points in his final game, rocking the not central jersey. He's headed to Vanderbilt, and Kevin Stallings has himself a kid who can get buckets. To vote on the UPI Top Play Contenders, go to the Sports tab on WYMT.com. Click Top 5 Plays, and of course, as always, we'll count them down at 6 on Thursday. That's First Look at Sports this morning. Enjoy your morning.